Thank you very much to be here. It's a great honor for us to be in this famous and well-reputated institution. Thank you very much, Ron, for the hospitality and the organization of everything. Um, I, my name is uh, Konstantinos Petridis. I'm the coordinator of the project. Um, I will explain to you how did we start the project, what, were the, the, what was the motivation about the project, why do we believe that the project has something to offer, and uh, then you know we will start. Uh, uh, the, uh, we are going to start, you know, the um, the intensive course. My research is in photonics. Uh, I'm involved all the all the time with the lasers. We are using lasers and photonic tools all the time. You know, doing experiments and characterization and uh, all the experiments that we are doing in our laboratory involves photonics in nanotechnology. Uh, so, in particular, in solar cells. So um, we uh, we have identified. Uh, a lack of uh, education to our students uh, when they are coming to the laboratory. And it's not, you know, now the science is like a multidisciplinary sector. It, I mean, it's not only physicists that they are involved in our laboratory, they are chemists, biologists, you know, en engineers. So we have seen, you know, some lack of knowledge on fundamental photonics uh, when they try to apply uh, on the laboratory. And this, is no, this was not the main key. The main key is like if you have a lack of uh, knowledge, you have a lack of confidence, and this has an impact of the research that they are going to do and on the time that we are going to spend in order to supervise our students. So we believe that if, if a platform uh, as a repository was there free of any charge, free of any fees, our students, they will have the chance to go see all the video lectures, like what is happening in MIT Open Courseware. But you know, a, 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 you know, a platform devoted to the photonics and especially the applications in nanotechnology, and the, they will see, you know, lively, you know, all these lab demonstrations that we hope that we are going to develop. Actually, I don't hope; I'm very sure that we are going to develop. And this will build their confidence because they will have the picture and what is happening before they enter and before they start under our supervision, you know, the application of such a tools. The next thing that, you know, I found out, um, I mean, this is was like comes, you know, from my personal experience, is my, my very close person to me is like working for consulting uh, group. Um, she, uh, once she asked me, uh, all right, we call people, you know, from the CV, Okay, like in the Boston Consulting Group, you know, they invited people, you know, with actually excellent um, uh, CVs. But, you know, during the interview, we hire them. So I start to ask, what, what are you asking? I mean, do you know physics? Do you know lasers? Do you know engineering? Because, you know, in consulting, you know, everyone works. And she told me, no, we are asking them how do they deal under pressure? How do they deal under time stressing conditions? How they are critical thinking? So I started, you know, my, uh, and asking her, you know, in an interview, you know, my wife, you know, what are these skills? And then she, uh, she was starting to talk about soft skills. And then, you know, I was going to the conferences. And when I was listening to something about soft skills, or if I could see someone from industry, I was starting to ask. And this started my uh, interest about, you know, what are these soft skills? And actually, you know, I found out that right now in science, soft skills are very important. And it was like our experience in conferences that we can see like very famous scientists that they are trying to do a presentation. You know, they know everything because they are in actually innovators, you know, in specific fields, but actually they cannot present the things. It like, it, it, they, they cannot transfer the knowledge to the audience. And this was something that I think that all our students, they have the right to, you know, to have it. It's something that it is not coming, you know, as a talent. I think that we can build it. And actually, this was the second initiative in order to develop and submit such a project. So it's not only the hard skills that they are important, but, you know, the soft skills, you know, are very, very important. Uh, and the other thing that I found out, and, you know, I totally agree with you, it was like I was in, a, in a, I am, actually, I'm coming from the smallest institution all over us, eh? among, you know, the IPEN uh, institution. But, when I arrived there from abroad, you know, I had a lot of teaching duties. You know, I like, I love teaching. But, you know, I could, I could see, you know, from my colleagues, everyone was telling, oh, teaching is boring. Teaching is like an extra time that we should not spend. And I was wondering why all these people, you know, they found, you know, teachings like, you know, an extra overload since, but since it's so important because if you are teaching well, our students are going to be better. If you cannot transfer the knowledge and you can see, you know, teaching as an overload to you, how are you going to transfer this knowledge to your students that they are going to be your future collaborators and they are going to, be, they are going to do the, your, the work for you? Because for a supervisor, I mean, the, the performance of a supervisor depends on the performance of the students. And actually, I found out, you know, during when we are close to submit this project, I found out an econ in Economist, Economist is a very famous, all of you, you know, Economist as a journal, 
a, a specific you know, issue devoted to good teaching. And this was actually identified in the United States among the big, largest universities in the world, that you know, bad teaching has affected very much the research that is implemented now, nowadays in the US. So, I mean, this was, you know, the third initiative. So these are the three motivations that, you know, we have observed a lack within any curriculum, like to develop the three, you know, these priorities at the same time. And that's why we submitted this project. Everything was starting in Bari Line 2016. Actually, you know, Ron Blotter, we had, you know, a Skype meeting before this meeting. She was one of the initiators of this, uh, of this help. We, we gathered, you know, for one day in uh, Bari Line facilities, all of us. We agreed for everything, and especially for money, because, you know, money talks, and, you know, we should have, you know, also a motivation in order to develop something good, even though that I don't believe in this. You know, I'm like, I believe in a volunteer uh, action. But we were lucky, even, you know, the success, the, the success in order to, to take, to, to, to grant such a project, even the Erasmus are the most prestigious ones, it's only, it was like 8%, you know, in this case. Um, we, we managed to get it and we have, you know, the funds, we have almost 1 million euros, like contribution from EU, in order to develop all these initiatives that they, we believe that is going to have, you know, a very strong impact to our curricula. And I, 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 I hope that, you know, at the end of this meeting, you will be with us and you will become, you know, member of the IPEN family and you, you, we will share the same beliefs. Uh, so I, a few words about the consortium. Actually, we are very proud, especially us as a coordinator. We are, I, I told you, we are a small, very small department in university, but we are doing, you know, we believe in quality, not in the quantity because we don't have, you know, this choice. Uh, so we are very proud that we have, you know, very good partners all in Europe and friends also, you know, because in the IPEN, if you would like to do something good, you should establish friendship with your partners and not, you know, pro I mean, we are professionals, but we are friends. I think that we, I believe very much in friendship and on trust between us because friendship builds the trust. So we have Politecnico di Milano, uh, we have University of Vende from Netherlands, we have uh, FAU uh, from uh, uh, Germany in Nuremberg in Erlangen actually. We have uh, all, I think that we have uh, the top of the cream from uh, Israeli institutes. We don't have all of them, but we have, you know, a lot of them. So we have Barilan, we have Weizmann, we have Samun, we have Holon, we have Meital, which is like an association uh, of all the Israeli universities regarding the networking and uh, uh, the internet. We have Technion, we have Ben Gurion, we have, you know, actually, you know, Institute of Electronic Structures and Laser, which is like our, let's say, Technion in, uh, in Greece, or Weizmann, uh, or Hebrew University. And we have also a, a, a small, medium uh, company that provides us all this expertise regarding uh, soft skills, among other partners. So these are the consortium. I think that we have a very strong consortium. We have a lot of associate partners. We have, you know, the support from uh, Israeli Ministry of Education. We have uh, two laser companies from Germany. Uh, and also we have the support from Netherlands uh, Embassy, you know, here in Tel Aviv. Uh, so what, what are, you know, the objectives? The objectives are to, to develop 40 online courses, you know, with free of access. What do, what, what do you mean 40 online courses? These online courses are going to be split into the three priorities. We have courses about photonics and not, you know, not only the fundamentals, but also we're going to develop, you know, the most modern techniques that we can, someone can apply and can see and can experience within a nanotechnology laboratory. We have skills, we have courses about how to become a better teachers. You know, something that I'm very glad that still is missing in Weizmann, it means it's missing everywhere. And we are going to have, you know, uh, um, courses how to manage a project, how to write a project, how to write a, a research paper, uh, how to make an oral presentation, how tips how to develop the, um, the critical thinking. And, you know, these, are, these, are, these soft skills, you know, are very uh, linked with our teaching. Because during the teaching, you know, we have here Ron Blonder and other people that they are very specialist in, uh, in teaching and how to apply tools in teaching and methodologies. I mean, this good teaching, they are directly linked with the soft skills because the way that we are going to train to do, you know, the lectures, they are going to have two objectives, to transfer the knowledge and at the same time to cultivate, you know, these skills from our students and ourselves, of course. Uh, we have also the organization of intensive course. This is the first one. Uh, each one of the intensive courses will have a specific topic. The, the topic 
that we are going to devote it in this intensive course will be teaching methodologies and soft skills development. And the next one you will see in Milano is more focused in photonics. And all of these, they are going to be uploaded in, a, in, a, in an IPEN a Moodle platform that any one of you will provide the, the, when we will be ready, I hope in three years, we will provide you the link and everything in order to follow it. Actually, you know, after, we, we, uh, thanks to the dissemination activities that also, you know, Ron Blodder, you know, took it here, you will have the access to our website and you can follow the developments online. So this is the program. We are going to offer to you nine hours of uh, teaching. We are going to have, you know, a very nice poster session outside. Actually, you know, we believe on the interlinking of between us. Uh, so if you would like to follow anything about uh, this intensive course, this is the link. Of course, you know, it's too long to copy. You can take a photo or we will send you the link, you know, through the emailing list that we are going to create today. Actually, you know, thanks to Weizmann and we are very grateful for you uh, for this. Uh, Weizmann, you know, sponsors the event and we have lunches and dinners that the, and coffee breaks that they will be offered by Weizmann. This is not something common or something usual. So we really appreciate this and thank you very much. Uh, the first intensive, you know, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Ron Blonde, Ruth and Weizmann. So I have bought, you know, a small present also. I gave Ruth, you know, the present. So one of these mugs is for uh, Ron. Let's thank Ron, you know, for the nice... Uh, for the nice organization. I would like to thank very much also, you know, the cameraman over there and, you know, the people that they support this event. You know, without them, we cannot do anything. You know, these people probably sometimes make the difference. And um, I would like also to disseminate the next intensive course. You are very welcome to come. Actually, we, each one of the consortium universities, they have two funds to send, you know, people in the next event. So the next event it will take in Milano, in the facilities of uh, Politecnico di Milano, uh, actually, one of the organizers is like here, he's a friend of us and very good person and with humor and culture is Professor Scotonella. Uh, it's very important for a scientist to have a culture. I mean, it's very, sometimes very random to find people with a culture. Uh, and you know, the, thing, the, the topic will be photonics. So especially laser spectroscopy, the people in Politecnico di Milano and in the uh, Institution of Itali uh, Institute of Italian IIT, eh? Uh, Italian Institute of Technology, uh, you know, they are doing great job in photonics, so it will be a great chance for you as a scientist and for your students to come on the, yesterday we decided from the 13th to the 15th of May, you know, people to come and follow this course. It will be an ideal, uh, I mean, case. And uh, also please follow us, you know, not only through our website, but also through the Facebook, uh, um, Facebook uh, page. And also now we have an Instagram, thanks to Costas, you know, another colleague of us, you know, from uh, Crete. And uh, whatever pictures you are going to upload, please, you know, tag, you know, our uh, project uh, in uh, Instagram. And uh, with this, I would like to thank you. I would like to um, thank you for your participation. It's not only honor that, you know, Weizmann hosted that, but it's an honor for me and I think for the whole project that you are among us and you will follow this uh, action. And I hope that you will be part of the IPEN family and uh, to see you in one of these pictures. Thank you very much and I hope that you will enjoy the whole event. Thank you. <laughs> you know, among us, it's like a, a person, uh, that he has, uh, okay, he has, he has devoted his life for, the, for, for in, in the Erasmus. He's a colleague of mine. I mean, um, we have differences. We have some people, some things that we agree. But uh, I would like to call Professor Kalyakatsos, who is like, uh, after 40 years of services, uh, he got retired, but he still loves Erasmus, which is very important for the project. Uh, if you, he's actually, you know, the coordinator of all our Erasmus activities. And if Yanis would like to come to say a few things about uh, Erasmus and our uh, uh, actions, you're very welcome. But if you don't like, please come here. We have bought you a present in order to remember uh, this moment and this event. Uh, good morning to everybody. Mm -hmm. I am here because uh, I was the coordinator of Erasmus project in my institution for the last five years. And uh, I was involved in Erasmus program till the beginning, almost the beginning, from 
1989. So I have uh, an experience. I was very lucky to find Costas, one of my best colleague, best friends now, friend now, and it's uh, very, very important for me to be once again in Israel, and this time in Weizmann, thanks to Ron and uh, her colleagues for the honor they gave to me to come here and uh, participate in this very important project. I will ask uh, Costas to give me more duties in this project, <laughs> because now I have uh, plenty of time and uh, I think that I'm, uh, I am still uh, active. Uh, thank you very much for all. Thank you very much once again, and I hope to meet uh, all of you in the next uh, meeting in Milano. Thank you. Thank you. So, so this is a small so, present for so appreciation. Maybe. Let's do it for the okay.